Hello everybody, my name is Ingenious Clown, and welcome to a game that I'm actually pretty excited about. This is Empires of the Undergrowth. You may or may not know that I covered the alpha version. I mean, this is still an alpha version. This is a test version. Uh, I covered this game about six months ago on my main channel, and I loved it. I loved it. I backed their Kickstarter, and <laughs> I can't wait till the full game comes out. But until then, we have an updated demo with new controls, new maps, all sorts of goodies. I'm excited. I love, I love Dungeon Keeper. <laughs> so we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go through it. We're gonna play it. So why not? Why not have some fun? I know strategy games are a little outside of my normal fare here on this channel, but you know what? We just want to consume all the nearby creatures. Uh, <laughs> um, so we're just going to do what we got to do. We're going to learn how to learn how to play this game all over again, because I completely forgot how. Uh, but I've played Dungeon Keeper. I love me some Dungeon Keeper. So we have these little pheromone trails. So it's that seems to be pretty obvious how that works. Uh, we need to build... Oh. What did I do? How do these work? All right, let's um, let's create a kitchen. I need to create a little food kitchen here. Um, so we have somewhere to take our food to. So let's uh, pop this open a little bit. Create a little bit of a larger kitchen. And I think maybe over here we'll create our nursery. Maybe. Seems like a good idea to me. We'll put in a little, uh... have a pretty good-sized nursery here, I think. Assuming you make nurseries still? Is that a thing? You do not have enough food to build that tile. Alright, I understand you. I'm getting you now, game. So, uh, I believe, yeah, this is soldiers that I'm building. How much does it cost? Costs 10 food to place, 1 food to hatch. 5 food to place, 1 food to hatch. Formica Eruptor. Formica Fuchsia. Alright. We're learning science. We're working as we're sciencing. Let's come on over here. We're gonna grab this food as well. So we're gonna need all the food. We're gonna need all the food. I'm gonna need to stop slurring my speech here sometime soon, too. And I'm also going to need to create a little bit of a worker nest. So where do I want to do that? If I'm going to build a worker nest, let's build it here. I'm probably creating too big of a soldier nest. Chamber of Gene Staler, Gene Stealer. Yeah, it's with seven tilers, tiles. <laughs> Dragging and dropping this icon into another group section of this dialogue dialogue will assign this chamber to that pheromone marker all right uh let's make our worker nest here fill that up i'm running low on food uh so all right let's take some workers there ants with 10 tiles with seven tiles. It's with... Oh! Oh! I understand! I understand now! So you want to... You want to kind of group these. I see. Alright, so... You know what? Let's, um... Let's do this. I have a small group of worker ants for the queen... And then another small group of running around ants. So we'll make this slightly... <sighs> Shit, that's not really what I, what I want to do. Now that I understand everything. Yeah, let's expand this way. Oh, uh, I pissed something off. So let's bring our soldiers down here to fight. I do want a little, a few more soldiers in this group. And we'll have two groups of soldiers. Uh, can I get rid? Oh, no. 
I would like to get rid of the pheromone marker. There was a video that was shipped with this new build. So it's important. <laughs> it was important for me to watch that. Uh, this food is hidden. That was unexpected. So, there's... The minimap works better than I remember it working, which is pretty nice. Eight tiles. Um, we need more food. We need more and more food. We always need more food. Because, of course, getting more food is going to give us a better... I want ten. And then we can make... I don't... I want to be sure not to group this. I've kind of put myself in a bit of a sticky bind. No, I've connected it! Crap! How do I undo it? Destroy? Destroy this. No, 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 I want to destroy it. Dismiss pheromone marker. Remove tile improvement. Coming in a future build! Crap! <laughs> Alright. You're gonna get a new freaking home, okay? How about that? Uh, that's not what I want to do. It's not- wait. Crap. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, we're great. All right. 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 Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build more food down there because why not? Stop them from connecting. We're gonna build... I don't have enough food. So let's send our workers over here to collect this food. So I'm kind of putting myself in a difficult situation here. I cannot dig through these rocks. If I remember right, on this map there's a giant group of them down here. I like the new textures. They're kind of nice. Although it's kind of silly that it tells you exactly where everything is. Let's uh, send those guys down there. We have some food down here that we can gather as well. So nothing is like purely automatic anymore as it like it used to be, which is kind of nice. I don't have enough food. So once I get these ant tiles, once I get these little uh, uh, worker tiles going, I think I'll be fine. Let's uh, put that down there. We will. Come on. Give me more food. Are these foods worth one apiece? Is that what I'm seeing? Is that what I'm understanding here? Come on. Almost there. Almost there, baby. Almost there. And we can, uh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. We got it. Alright, so I want this group over here. And we currently only have one group of soldiers. Not sure what I want to do about that. I do like this method of controlling the ants though. It's kind of nice. It's pretty kind of nice. Alright, here come... Here comes trouble. So let's bring these guys up here. To defend our colony. I guess we'll bring these guys up here, because they will also help fight. The workers can fight now. They don't just get themselves killed. Also, look at these look at these ant textures. I would like a little bit of interpolation in the map zooming. This is a little jarring, but pff, it's alpha. I'm sure they've got interpolation on the mind. <laughs> you always have interpolation. This is going to be a lot of food. Um, where do I want our new uh, hatchery? How about here? Next door to its kin. Group of 13. Group of 13. You do not have enough food to fill that tile. Okay, great. Um, I guess this will be our hybrid group here. Let's dig up here. These guys are going to go ahead and take this out. I want these guys over here. Uh, 
the green group of soldiers are still defending this area, so that should be perfectly safe for the time being. And we do know that nothing is just going to spawn on top of our faces here. So we should be perfectly, perfectly safe. So as long as things are chill... This is going to be a nice big group of workers. Uh, I guess hi hybrid group of workers and fighters. Which I think is a nice little combination to have. And then we have these this pure soldier group, and we have this pure worker group, and then we just have these workers that are just kind of chilling out over here, distributing eggs, doing what they need to do. I think that's enough. Don't you? Put that over there. So we're gonna have a lot of food. I may want to increase our fighters over here. Oh, don't dig that. So we'll increase these fighters. I love ants. I mean, I don't love ants. I love insects. Insects are so cool. I think I mentioned this in my previous video, but if I had to choose, if I had to choose a natural science to go into instead of computer science, it would have been entomology. The study of bugs. I like bugs. Bugs are awesome. I don't know, I guess this is <laughs> this is part of the reason why I uh, never felt confident enough to do a Let's Play. Oh yeah, soldiers gather food too, I forgot about that. Uh, this is why I never really felt confident enough to do a Let's Play of a strategy game. Because what do you fill the time with other than idle chatter? Maybe not idle chatter, but like, wh like what kind of chatter do you fill the time with? Looks like we have a traffic jam over here. I mean, they're making it through pretty all right. It's not too bad. It could be much, much worse. All right, I think it's time to start being a little bit aggro. Let's come on over here. Uh, let's bring our hybrid group over here. Um, I guess let's, uh, do I want no, well, let's be smart about this. It's going to give a little bit of a long path. But we have one in and one out of our collection here. Let's take some ants down here. See if there's anywhere for us to go. See if this, like, just kind of goes into where uh, these this massive nest is. If it does, that, that, would, that would suck so bad. I'm not ready to take those on. I have this whole map to conquer. This whole map. You know, eventually this is going to have a surface. Because uh, ants don't just live underground. They live above ground, too. They have to scavenge for food above ground. Uh, come on. There we go. Let's open this up. Get our workers going. And I'm sure... that blue group will take care of that just fine and I'm gonna use these guys as a little bit of a these two groups here as a little bit of a hybrid sort of hybrid hybrid I got some ants dying it's not good come on you guys can do better I believe in you I believe in you believe in the me that believes in you Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so if you don't mind me borrowing from the beard bros a little bit. Uh, question of the day. When it comes... What's your favorite strategy game? And when it comes to strategy games, what strategy games are you most excited for? Like, for me... I grew up on... I don't need more there, do I? And it should be plenty. You know what? Let's build a couple more. Why not? For me, I grew up on Warcraft. I grew up on the Warcraft franchise. I mean, you're probably aware that I'm a little bit of a Blizzard fanboy. 
I'm okay with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. I accept my fate. I accept what I am. Uh, one thing I do miss about this game is that you can't claim tiles like you could in Dungeon Keeper. But this isn't Dungeon Keeper. Dungeon Keeper was built on squares. This is built on hexes. Um, anyway. I grew up on Warcraft. Like, I remember... <laughs> before I even knew what programming was, I, uh... My dad had a computer, and I loved that thing. I, I was on it all the time. And I would... I would install Warcraft 1 off of floppy disks onto my dad's computer. It was a good time. That's where I learned what command line was. Like, I, I knew... I don't... I can't really navigate DOS very well anymore. Not like I used to be able to. But... Like, this was when I was... Like... Nine or ten, I think. And I knew how to, uh, I knew how to reformat a computer, at least for Windows. I knew how to reformat a computer and install Warcraft and then check the sound card. Your sound card works perfectly. I remember that. I remember that. I remember all of that. That was my jam. Back in the day. Alright, so I think this site is safe. There's like, there's rocks blocked out all around over here. Let's just dig on through. We'll have our workers collect here. And then our soldiers, I believe. If we want to be tricky, clever, let's bring our soldiers over here just in case. Um, I believe these guys will be able to handle everything on their own. Got plenty of food. Our food stores are starting to be filled, so let's increase this just a little bit. Oh, there we have an adult here. Oh no, don't run away. Don't you all run away now. This guy is so much bigger than the other ones. Are there health bars? I saw I saw health bars in the video. Audio quality? You need to turn that up. I'm an audiophile here. We don't we don't deal with the low quality audio garbage. I don't know if that even works. Um, I guess there are- wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there- is there key binding? Cancel. Guess not. Health bar. Health bar. Health bar. Whoa. Whoa, I'm holding control. Okay, so if I hold alt, it shows the health bars. It's a nice little toggle. I like that. Alright, so that was easy for those guys to handle. I love these kinds of strategy games. Wait, let me go back to my previous point. I grew up on Warcraft. So Warcraft is... is it's my jam. Like, anything that Blizzard releases that has the tag Warcraft in it, from now until the end of time, or I guess until my death. Let's be real here. Uh, I'm not gonna live forever. Uh... <laughs> Anything that has Warcraft in it, I am all over. Oh, shit, I don't want to dig all the way through there. I'm hoping that this doesn't just open up other- Because I'm not ready for that yet. We've got multiple adults over here. Alright, this is dangerous. I believe those are all adults. There's no food here, so this is just me trying to kill those. And I have this group of soldiers over here just in case, but it looks like this tunnel is going to be perfectly safe. That's going to be our tunnel to... F <sighs> Let's bring them over. I don't trust them. 
I trust that this is going to be safe. Because we can just dig straight through here, and then we're going to have a nice, long tunnel to filter everybody through. And that's going to be the last group of enemies that we're going to have to ever deal with on this map! I'm excited! This is the map that I played in that first video. So I knew what to expect down there. On the next maps, we're going to be co playing completely blind. Come on, guys, you can do it. You can do it. Stop spraying all over my little ants. These guys have so much health. And that spray is doing AoE damage. That's bad. It's bad news. Maybe this is the boss. Maybe this isn't the boss. <laughs> Maybe I needed to worry about this more than I needed to worry about those. All right. There's one dead blood curdling scream. All right, now the ants are going to start focusing a little more cuz there's only two targets. Wait, are they regenerating? Oh my goodness. That is bad. I don't want them regenerating on me. All right, all three of them down. You know what time it is. It's time to get everybody over here. Whoop. Green. Uh, the right click is a little kind of wonky, but it's okay. Look at them go. Look at them go. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm ready. I am ready. I have four, 40 soldiers. I have 40 soldiers. I don't know why what's wrong with my speech right now. This is, this is going to happen. We're going to do this. We have a bunch of beetle things in here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's monstrous. It's disgusting. I have so many workers, they're going to die. I don't want the workers over there. I want the workers over here. Making sure that they uh, get all of the soldier ants where they need to be. Let's drag these guys out too. Just drag all of them out into that chamber. Maybe I needed more soldiers. I underestimated the power of the swarm. But we have lots of reinforcements filtering in. So this is good. As long as we get more and more reinforcements filtering in, we will eventually... Will we? We will eventually... Right? As long as one dies. And as long as they don't regenerate. I hope they don't regenerate. Man, the power of the swarm. This is why Zerg is the best race. And maybe that's why I like Zerg. Because they're basically bugs. They're space bugs. Let's be real, they're space bugs. And because of my love of insects and my interest in entomology, uh, it kind of makes sense, right? It makes sense that I would be drawn to Zerg. This is why I like Zerg as the, the Zerg race the most in StarCraft. There's no focus fire going on at all. They're just going in there and dying. Here comes a large group of them. Alright, I'm hearing them die. Little by little, one by one, they are going down. You can do it, little ants! Come on. Come on. Maybe I needed more. Maybe I overestimated the power of my little soldiers. But you know what? If I can kill just a few more, and as they start dying... As the soldiers start dying... Or no, 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 as these little larvae start dying... It will become more and more possible for me to start killing more. Come on. Come on. My aunt, my queen is right here. This is really bad. 
All right. Let's bring all of the workers over here now. All right, so now that they're in our camp here, we're gonna start swarming them. Look at this. The power of my swarm, baby. Maybe I needed more soldiers. 40 was not enough. Got it! Boom! We win! There's one left. Why is he still there? Let's come get the food. Where's... Where's all that food? One thing that upsets me about this game, and that I'm kind of sad that they hadn't changed, uh, is that killing the insects doesn't create a food source. The ants could totally use this meat. Although I'm no uh, entomologist, so I could very well not know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, come on, don't grab the food. You need to kill the dude. My goal is to kill the dudes. I don't know why he's stuck. All right, there we go. There we go. That's more like it. All right, we win. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we win. Well done. Your colony has consumed all of the devil's, devil's coach horse beetle larva and beetles in the area. We are interested in hearing your thoughts about this build, particularly about the controls. Let us know by following the feedback link below and leaving us a message. Well, so far, my only real complaint with the controls is it's kind of unintuitive to back out of your building menus. And sometimes I like had a hard time figuring out which control I was in. And uh, when placing these down... The idea works perfectly, I think. Uh, they just patrol between the points, which works unless you're trying to amass an army, but I mean, that's not how you control ants. Uh, sometimes it's hard to kind of click on a space. Like if you want multiple markers in the same space, I guess I could all drag them to the same chamber, but uh, I'm accidentally turning one off when I just want to add another. So I don't know how you could fix that, but I'm sure you'll come up with something. This is a clever solution to the lack of control that we had in the previous build that I played, which is kind of cool. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna play through all of these other levels. Oh, that was continue, we need to go to main menu. I'm gonna play through all of these other levels. We have, uh, come on, come on, come on, you can load. We have Critters, which we just finished, then we have The Nest, then we have Hold Out, and then we have Surrounded. I believe Surrounded is the survival level, and then Hold Out, I'm not sure what that entails. But I guess we'll find out on the next episode, and I'll see you there.